Greetings and salutations! This is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. And we're doing an unboxing video of the Russian Pavlovsk Grenadiers. Who are perfectly normal Russian soldiers who won a battle so got to got a special hat to wear. And that's basically who they are. Um, so these are the guys. Um, these are Russian. So doubtless the video will be demonetized. Um, oh, we have some fun here. Okay, we have that, I believe, is a standard Russian army infantry sprue. Yeah. Yeah, that's a standard infantry sprue. So um, we're actually going to be doing that in the Russian infantry unboxing. So I don't see any point in talking about them. What I will do instead is talk about this bag here. There's a lot in uh, There is a lot now. Actually, wait, did it say lead? Within this bag? Oh, it's lead. Uh, yeah, these are lead. Um, the Warlord are shifting to tin. Um, and quite a few of their new things are tin rather than lead. Um, I said before they were pewter and they're not, they're tin. Um, so if they break, if you have a bit of your officer break, you're stuffed if you think you're going to repair it. You're best repairing it with a piece of plastic, like plastic sword or whatever. Um, so these helmets are the helmets you get in the box. Um, actually, it's a bit like a Games Workshop box. In the way that you get the standard figures you normally get, but then they give you an extra sprue of things for Blood Angels or Space Wolves or whatever. Um, so this is just a standard infantry box with additional heads and instead of using the heads on this sprue like that you use these heads and there they are lots of nice big moustaches as well it was an age of moustaches if I get one and get one and reverse it that will should look quite cool so that's the front and back there they are um, you get enough of these heads in the box um, you get so many heads Hopefully so many two. loads of them right um, now we have part of the that oh if I move it uh, they're the elite companies or the the elite companies of the grenadier unit with the little plume on their head um, and the other guys are just the normal helmet. Um, so there's four guys on each end of your regiment, basically, uh, depending on how you base. Uh, now we also get one of the officers there, who is quite good. He's not bad. Uh, then we get the standard bearer, which is a pretty decent figure. I like his water bottle on the back. Um, then we get Drummer. Which is probably a better figure than the standard bearer to be honest. It's quite good. Uh, and then we get second standard. Uh, so it's quite good. Quite a nice little collection. Um, officers. I'll try and get them all at the same time for you. Uh, right. So we have... Just here we have the officer's sword and then a spare hand for carrying if you decide to make him into a carrier. And then we have a drummer and a nice little hatless head, which is quite nice. And that, what is that? He's holding his hat in his hand. That's quite good. So you have a bareheaded officer with his hat in his hand. <laughs> That could look quite good. Yes. And there is an officer with a bike horn. With a lovely little moustache on him, hasn't he? And a guy with a just normal Napoleonic type officer head. Quite a lot like the French, actually. Right. And that is basically nearly everything. I'll just show you the last interesting bit. 
which is this. Uh, these are the flagpoles with the little tassels on. Um, I like these better than the French ones. Um, I've only, I have only just seen them at this moment and I actually really like these. Um, the French ones are, let's say, not easy to put on and they're very stiff. And I don't know, I don't, I don't like messing with you don't do You don't do flags, but these look a lot easier to do. So that's it, I'm happy with that. So that is basically everything you get in the box. Um, so it's, it looks to me to be the standard infantry box with all these additional heads to turn them into grenadiers, which is great. Just great. So what do you think? Pretty good, I'm gonna have to learn how to stick heads, metal heads to plastic. Uh, actually, it sticks easier than metal to metal. Right, that's what happens then. No, genuinely, it is, it is easier doing it. Um, what do we know about Russian grenadiers? Absolutely uh, nothing. They were um, pretty much the same as British grenadiers. Um, if you did really well, you got made into a guard unit, basically. And that's pretty much how the Russian army worked until, oh, 1970s. Uh, what made you a guard unit in the Second World War was surviving a battle. And you became a guard. Didn't mean you were particularly good, it just meant you survived a battle. Um, I'm not downplaying Russians here, but Russian regular infantry with pikes could actually stand up to the French just as well as a guard unit. The guard units broke just like any other unit. They're just survivors, pretty much. Um, pretty much, yeah. Um, although, giving someone a posh uniform and a nice hat can actually make you a better soldier, yeah. believe it or not. Um, being told you're a guard, which is hence the, in World War II the Russians did it, you were told you were a guard, that meant you, you oh, I'm, I'm a guard, I'm, I'm not just normal Stratsky anymore, I'm a guard. Um, so it does actually boost your morale, um, which is interesting. Um, the British didn't really go in for that sort of thing. Um, we did promote units to guard and then we got to the point where um, it simply de depended where you were born as to your regiment so it became pretty much irrelevant in the British Army I'm thinking the Napoleonic period more than anything else um, and, and the um, Seven Years War uh, the, yeah Seven Years War um, so it, it, it you know, it's, 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 it swings and roundabouts, basically. Um, but so generally on the battlefield, these are going to be better than the average line infantry, just on the principle that they are guard, uh, they're, they're better equipped, probably get to train with musket, live musket balls. Um, that's about it. It's a bit boring, really, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, so that's the guys in the back. Oh, did I miss a? Oh, I did miss something. Sorry, bad me. Ah, oh, right. That's just for the infantry, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And some flags. There they are. What does it say? Oh, it actually tells us something about it. Uh, the Pavlovsky Grenadier Regiment was founded in 1796 by Tsar Paul the First, apparently. Not a famous one, I've never heard of him. Um, the original men were raised from Moscow Grenadier Regiment and named after the pa Pavlovsky Palace, um, being named in turn after the Tsar himself, pa uh, Pavel being the Russian version for Paul. Oh, right, they're the Paul Guard. Right. Their, Russian, their name translates to Paul Guard then. Right, okay. Um, um, as with all the Russian soldiers, term of service were effectively for life. In other words, you didn't live to be a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> You're expected to die in your boots. Um, um, it was a way out of serfdom for many uh, Russian grenadiers, as uh, with grenadiers over the world, were the biggest and strongest of their nation nations recruiting uh, drive could offer. Yeah, um, the Scots, they only hire... Uh, to be a Scots guard, it just depended on how tall you were. Because literally, if you're over six foot, you're going to guard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. Although I, Scots. I, I, won't, I won't be able to get into line. No, you, you wouldn't, <laughs> you'd be a skirmisher, you'd be a voltageer. The French did that. If you were short, they put you in a voltageer unit. <laughs> Great. And, um, yeah, 
Uh, also, uh, the Germans, um, if in, in the, the German army, or the, the Prussian army, I should say, um, if you came from a farm, you went into the Jaeger, because you lived on a farm. Therefore, you must be able to fire a musket and hit things. Therefore, you're a Jaeger, whether you like it or not. Uh, again, I think they also preferred small people to be Jaeger. So, there we go. Um... Uh, the Polvosk Regiment first found renown at the Battle of Elu uh, in 1807, according to someone called James Arnold. Hmm. Um, in one day, the most heroic actions, the Pavlov Grenadiers, found themselves attacked simultaneously from the front and the rear, um, which is bad planning on behalf of their officer. He can't have been that good to get attacked from the front and the <laughs> rear at the same time. What, the, what was he doing? <laughs> Please, you're not supposed, not supposed to happen on the battlefield by French dragoons. Well, they weren't, uh, they weren't that bad, was it? They were only French dragoons. <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> um, the first rank held uh, held firm when the, and the second and third uh, turned and defended the rear. Well, yeah, the, it's called forming a square. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not... You were attacked by cavalry and you formed a square. They made you a guard. Okay, that's well done. You survived the battle. Um... Yeah, that's just funny, that is. So, basically, according to the author James Arnold, um, the Grenadiers were attacked by two, from two sides by cavalry, and they formed square. And this is historical in Russia, that they did this. They got a special hat for it and everything. It's Meanwhile, at Waterloo. Meanwhile, at Waterloo, it's just like the entire British army managed to form square. How many Grenadiers did we get that day? Yeah! <laughs> Actually, we stole the French French bearskin <laughs> from the guard. We took the French guard hats and we wore them. And that's why we have bearskin guards in Britain. Because we stole them from the French at Waterloo because it was funny. Because the French guard ran away. Because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The only time the French guard faced the English, the French guard lost. There you go. Although I think it was more down to the fact we were on a 14-foot ridge. Yeah. And we'd been pounding the French guard for about half an hour with cannon and muskets. <laughs> and the French guard weren't actually retreating. They just reformed. And the rest of the army thought, oh no, the guard are retreating and ran away. So the guard just marched off the battlefield and didn't actually run away. But, you know, um, I, do, I do like making fun of the French. Um, so that's it. That's, that's everything. Um, so hats off to the French Guard. They're actually amazing troops. Very, very good veteran soldiers. Um, best of best. Yeah, as for the Russians, well, they managed to form square. <laughs> but their, their officer was an idiot because he managed to get them in a field, been attacked on two sides by cavalry. How did he manage that? Ever heard of trees, ditches, uh, linear terrain, anything like that? You, uh, support troops. Support troops. <laughs> yeah. Where was your own cavalry at this point? Where were your cannon? Where were your skirmishers? Where, where was the other where regiment? Where was the line? He got lost. <laughs> Basically, the story goes, according to this, he, this guy got lost in a field, got attacked by the French from both sides and formed square, got a medal for it and a funny hat. But if it turns out that actually what happened is the, uh, the entire Russian army ran away and they're the only ones left then yeah yeah although um I, I haven't read that so reading that um what i said when we first started the video was actually accurate but i thought it was earlier than than the Napoleon it was i thought it was towards the end of the seven years war the pavlov guard were were formed um but obviously i was wrong so there we go there we go um that's it so anyway I, I was kind of right but wrong as well so there you go um that's it uh thank you very much for watching um if you want to see what they look like painted up and done um when we've done them we'll put a copy of them on ebay on our shop and if anyone wants us to do them for them we can yeah and i'll even put in free flags as well because mm. they always do that anyway so yeah Right, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can check our eBay account out at the link below. Uh, click like and leave a rude comment if you like, or a nice comment. Uh, most of them are rude, but you know, nice one. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Imperator Vespasian, and he's going to do the outro. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below. I said you all think that. Of the Russian. I just said all that. No, not this bit. The Russian <laughs> Paul Grenadiers. Paul Grenadiers. Yeah. They're the Paul Grenadiers. I did not know that. They're, they're, so the, the St. Paul's Grenadiers, basically. 
That's every, every, every time. Every time. Every time. Every That's time. Everything. You can actually set your watch from away. me. <laughs> and everything from him. Goodbye. Bye.